going to look at one of an important concepts in epidemiology, which is known as the epidemiologic triangle. Now, it's also known as the epidemiologic trial. Now, this terminology is commonly used when we learn about infectious diseases or communicable diseases. Epidemiologic trial is a concept which was devised to describe the interaction between the causative agent, the susceptible host on, and the external environment. So as we can see here, the three vertices of this triangle are the agent, the host and the environment. The environment is the platform which allows interaction between the agent and the host to cause the disease. What I mean by this is mere presence of an agent in the environment does not mean that the disease will, up be, disease will occur. Now what I mean by this, agent, host and environment have to be looked into and assessed when we plan preventive in interventions for control of diseases. We will look into details of how that is done in another session. Let's look at today what is the agent, what's the host and what's the environment. If we look at the answers to questions which we ask in epidemiology, we talked about what, where, who, how, why, when. If we look at the agent, we are talking about what causes the disease. Now when we talk of agent specifically, what comes to our mind generally is organisms, microorganisms like bacteria, viruses, fungi, parasites which uh, have the capacity to cause disease. But we need to remember that other than these agents, there are also certain other agents which can cause disease. For example, excessive pressure as a part of occupational hazard can also be considered as an agent in causing a disease. So other than that, there are other chemicals which can also act as agents, radioactive substances which can act as agents in causing certain diseases. Please do remember that this epidemiologic triad or epidemiologic triangle model was devised particularly to study infectious diseases. What I mean by this is, when we look at diseases which do not spread from each other, one, one person to other, which are non-communicable diseases, like cancer, diabetes, hypertension, necessarily cannot be dealt with taking the agent, host and environment into consideration. The reason is being, reason being, there are multiple factors which are responsible for causing cancer or diabetes or hypertension, which cannot be explained on the basis of this model. So do remember that the epidemiologic trial is used to explain infectious diseases. So as I mentioned earlier, environment is the platform which will determine whether the agent and host are interacting and whether they are causing the disease. Another terminology which comes into consideration when we are talking about this is how in the environment is the disease spread from one person to other. So what in other words I am trying to say is what are the routes of transmission or the modes of transmission of disease from one person to other. We will look into details of the roots when we talk of the chain of infection in, in another session. So for today, when we look at agent, what are the agent factors which are responsible to cause the disease? So how pathogenic is the agent? Once it enters the body, how, much, how many pathological changes can it cause to result in the disease? What is the killing power of the disease? So how dangerous it is? How virulent is the organism? All this is going to determine whether the disease will occur or not. So please remember, agent gives you the answer to the question what? What causes the disease? Looking at the host, we use the word susceptible host. The word susceptible means the person who is likely to suffer from the disease if exposed to an agent. So looking at the susceptible host, we try to answer the question who are affected? So what I mean by that is, who is the person being affected by the disease? Now, who will be affected by a disease and who will not be affected by the disease in the same locality will, is determined by different factors. So the first factor which we look at is the host susceptibility or how likely the host is uh, to get the disease. So what are these factors governing susceptibility? Factors governing susceptibility are known as intrinsic factors. One of the factors of them is age. 
extremes of ages, people are likely to suffer from diseases. And something which is very closely linked to this is the immune status. So when we are very young or when we grow very old, our immune status is weaker as compared to when we are young or middle-aged adults. So what happens is, if our immune status is lower, we are likely to suffer from infections and eventually diseases. The other thing is nutritional status. People with poor nutritional status are also likely to be more susceptible as compared to those who have a better nutritional status. So these are the factors which we consider as intrinsic to the host. Genetic factors are one, another, another reason how a person would react to suffering from a disease or being protected from the disease. So all these we can consider as host factors. There are certain diseases which affect males more than females, certain diseases which occur in specific occupational groups, special diseases which occur in people of a, of a specific socioeconomic status. Now all this is what we consider as the host factors. Looking at all this, we can understand that just mere presence of the agent and the mere presence of a susceptible host doesn't mean that the disease will occur. So what's responsible or what is what we call as the fulcrum, whether the equilibrium between agent and host is maintained or not, is the environment. When we look at environment, we are trying to answer the question where is the disease occurring. So we answer what, how and where. Now, we look at what is the environment. What is environment is nothing but everything which surrounds us. So it could be your physical environment like air, the air you inhale, the quality of water you um, drink or use the quality of food which you eat. Similarly, it could be the biological environment. That means the presence of organisms around us. It could be the chemical environment. It could be the social environment. When we talk of social environment, we talk about our housing, uh, the ventilation in the house, the, um, the, the quality of sewage disposal facilities, the quality of education, all this makes social environment. So what we have looked at today in an actual is the epidemiologic triangle consists of three elements, agent, host and environment. Occurrence of a disease does not solely depend on presence of the agent in the environment. The interaction between the agent and the host in a conducive environment is necessary for causing a disease. Thank you very much. This is all from me now. Please keep watching and do subscribe. Thank you.